I did mention earlier, Gemini has some areas where it has weaknesses. The first of all, and this is a big one, is coding. Here is Vedant Mizza, who is AS at DeepMind. He's got this great dialogue, probably fake, between his mum and himself. Mum, how's work going? Me, pretty good. We made all the numbers go way up and ship the best model in the world. Mum, that's nice, but what happened with the software engineering benchmark row? Me, mum, can you not write now? So they were up on every single benchmark, apart from SWE, the software engineering benchmark. The fact that they've added it on this table is great. SWE bench verified. The best for software engineering, according to SWE bench, is still Sonnet 4.5. The model behind Claude Code is the model that most people swear by. It's the one that I use on a daily basis too. And it really good, really good. This is a chink in their armor because a lot of people looking to use Gemini, the newest model, are engineers and software developers. The public is mainly happy with ChatGPT or whatever they're given at work. The people switching models, canceling subscriptions who are working out what to build with are the engineers and the builders. So the fact that it has this chink in its armor and is maybe not as good at coding as Sonnet 4.5, which came out a couple of months ago, is a big problem. If we look at Burkov, what's his real name? Oh, it is Burkov, Andrei Burkov. Excuse me, sorry, Andrei. He's talking about something called code incontinence. This is potentially a big issue for Gemini. I have not seen it myself, but I have not coded enough. I am also not a software developer, so I'm not, I'm not gonna speak about this. 